AMH or anti-malarian hormone is the term that most women who have been trying to conceive for some time are familiar with. If you listen to the internet, it's the last word on your fertility potential. The truth is never that simple, but it may be good news for many. Let us begin by understanding the basics. Anti-malarian hormone is a chemical that is secreted from your ovaries. Antral follicles or immature cells secrete AMH. These are the follicles that have the potential to one day mature and release an egg. In general, the greater the number of immature follicles in the ovary, the greater is the AMH secretion. More immature cells mean greater potential to produce eggs in the future, so doctors have begun to use the AMH test as an indirect way of judging a woman's fertility potential or ovarian reserve. Many women unfortunately lose heart after seeing a low AMH blood test result. However, it may not be such bad news for everyone struggling with infertility. In fact, unless you've decided that IVF is your only option, the AMH test may not be all that relevant to you. Let's step back and understand this a little bit better. As you must be aware by now, in any normal natural period cycle, only one egg is released from the ovary. So if your goal is to conceive naturally or even via IUI, you only need one follicle to mature properly in a period cycle and release one healthy egg. You don't need a whole bunch of immature cells that are secreting AMH to show up on a blood test. Despite this, the reason that AMH is receiving so much public attention these days is because IVF is becoming a far more common route to conception. During IVF, the doctor gives you injections such as clomiphene or letrozole to super stimulate your ovaries so that several immature follicles can be made to mature simultaneously. This helps the doctor pick up or harvest a greater number of eggs in a single cycle. Once these are fertilized by your partner's sperm in the lab, you can have multiple embryos that can be transferred into your uterus. This increases the chances of getting pregnant in any given IVF round. So if a lady who is going for IVF has very low AMH, the doctor may interpret this to mean that there aren't enough immature follicles for the medicines to act on and mature. So the number of eggs that can be harvested may also be lower. However, if you are trying for natural conception or even IUI, the AMH value may not impact you as much as other factors do. Like I said before, you need only one healthy egg to conceive. In our experience, the real reason for infertility often lies far away from the ovaries and even from the reproductive system. Many couples have poor health foundations, vitamin and mineral deficiencies, poor protein and essential fats in their diet, unmanaged stress and even borderline low thyroid function. These are all factors that most infertility specialists don't even address. At Sepalika, we fix these health foundations with diet, supplements, acupressure and where needed even bio-identical hormones. And the result is better health and energy for the couple, better egg and sperm quality and often natural conception, even when AMH is low. Don't let Google or WhatsApp University depress you with the lab test fears that may not even apply to your case. It helps to speak to a holistic fertility expert to figure out the real reason for your specific fertility issues. In the next video, we will share our experiences with women who came to us with high AMH values and how we worked with them to deliver results. We wish you all vibrant health and well-being.